This is what it looks like out on the front lines of the search for Air Asia Flight 8501. Bodies are scattered over a wide area of sea. They're being picked up by small boats and then transferred to bigger ones. It is a grim harvest. But the ships out here may have made a breakthrough. They have detected several large objects sitting on the sea floor. I can assure you from the oil spill and the objects that we have found, I can confirm that this is part of the Air Asia aircraft that we've been looking for. These pictures show what the sonar picked up. It's hard to tell what part of the plane they may be. More help arrived today in the shape of this Russian amphibious aircraft. On board, 70 Russian emergency specialists, including a team of deep sea divers. Their job will be to search for the plane's black boxes. This team of Russian deep sea divers is now preparing to get on board this Indonesian vessel and head out to join the international coalition that has assembled about 100 nautical miles offshore here, searching for the plane. Now, they do think they have located at least two very large pieces of the plane's fuselage lying in about 30 metres of water. But in order to be sure, they have to send down divers and submersibles into this very murky water to make a visual identification. And that is proving very difficult. The reason is the weather. This radar map from this afternoon shows the intense rain systems moving across the search area. At Bangalangbun Air Base this afternoon, the latest bodies recovered from the sea were placed in coffins and put aboard a transport plane for the flight back to Surabaya. This is now the sad daily ritual here, and one that looks set to go on for many days to come. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News in Bangalangbun, Indonesia.